And two demonstrations going on. Another group plans to wear red tomorrow to show their support for keeping kids in school for their mental health. The president of the Connecticut Education Association, one of the groups launching the blackout, says they don't want schools to close. They just want the resources to feel safe in school. Connecticut educators and school staff plan to make a statement wearing black to school Wednesday to bring attention to their safety concerns, including staff shortages and calls for more masks and test kits. The initiative, launched by the Connecticut Education Association and a coalition of other unions representing teachers, custodians and other school staff. We need support. We need you to know what our, our working conditions are like, and we need you to know that we don't all have what we need. So we're really calling to ensure that masks are available, high quality masks to educators, because we know with this variant, it's a really quick spreader. A group of school staff unions called the Board of Education Union Coalition conducted a survey of their members. Out of more than 5,000 respondents, about 62% feel they don't have the supplies and protocols in place to feel safe at work. And 88% believe districts should have the flexibility to move to short-term remote learning, something mother Erica Cabrera supports. Her daughter is enrolled in Waterbury Public Schools, which closed Monday due to a staff shortage. A lot of parents still send their kids to school sick. If they're going to be closed, then I'd rather her do virtual learning. And that should have been an option for parents. But not all support CEA's movement. Another group of teachers, including Ellington history teacher Aaron Hoffman, is planning a counter initiative, encouraging teachers to wear red in support of keeping kids in school for their mental health and well-being. And for the last two years, the, these kids have... Uh, have have undergone really drastic changes to their lives um, that have led to stress and anxiety and isolation uh, and a significant loss of learning. Uh, and, and so I guess enough is enough and we need to put these kids first uh, and we need to keep these kids in school. Governor Lamont responded to the planned blackout protest when asked at a news conference Tuesday afternoon, touting state efforts to get test kits and masks out to schools. And that's all to give people the confidence that you can teach at school, your kid can go to school, you can go safely. And right now I think it's working. Uh, I, I appreciate that there's some teachers that uh, want us to do more and every day we're gonna try and do more. Now, I reached out to the Connecticut State Department of Education about concerns from CEA over masks and test kits. And in a statement to Fox 61 News, CSDE Director of Communications Eric Scoville said in part, over a million tests have been distributed specifically for schools over the past week and distribution at the local level is up to individual districts working with their cities and towns. To date, more than 5 million and 95 masks have been distributed with many of them committed for educators. You can find that full statement and more information about the discussion on our website tonight. It's fox61.com. We're live in Hartford. Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News.